Hi, my name is Claudia Rivas, and I'm one of the full-time librarians here at Rio Hondo College Library. I'm going to talk to you today about the library in just 10 minutes. First off, a lot of students confuse us with the bookstore. Many students think that they can rent or purchase textbooks from the library, and that is incorrect. Rio Hondo College Bookstore handles the sale and rental of all textbooks. The library does have textbooks available for loan or to borrow, and I'll discuss that in detail in one of the upcoming slides. The library is located on the second floor of the Learning Resource Center. Our hours vary depending on the session that we are in. For fall and spring semesters, we typically have the same hours, but our summer and winter intercession hours vary from year to year. So we always recommend that you check our website or follow us on social media as we do post our most current hours there. These are some items that are available for student use in the library. First off is book eye scanners. Book eye scanners are large scanners meant for books um, that you want to scan multiple pages of. So this typically works well with the textbooks that we have available for student use. The textbooks are listed here. They're called reserve textbooks. And these textbooks can be borrowed for two hours at a time. In those two hours, you can use the Book Eye Scanner to scan as many pages as you need, chapters. You can save them to a flash drive or you can email them to yourself. You can also make copies of those pages. As you see here, we also have printers and photocopiers available. Um, but photocopying does cost money, whereas the Book Eye Scanner is free to use. The printers and photocopiers cost 10 cents a page for black and white and 50 cents a page for color. That's the only thing that we charge for in the library. Everything else is free to use. As you'll see here, we also have computers available for students to use. We have about 45 PCs and nine Macs in our computer commons area. We also have two desktop scanners. The desktop scanners are good for single page uses such as a driver's license, a birth certificate, or um, single pages that you need to scan and save on file. Those are located in front of the reference desk. We also have laptops that you can check out for library use only. Please see someone at the circulation desk for more information about that. We also have study rooms available. Study rooms are meant for group studies uh, groups for two to six students at a time. You can make a reservation online and you can do that up to a week in advance. If you need help learning how to make a reservation, please talk to a librarian at the reference desk. We also have audio and noise canceling headphones. Noise canceling headphones are in case the library gets too noisy. You can check them out from the circulation desk, but we also have free earplugs located at the circulation desk and reference desk. Audio headphones are in case you want to watch something in one of our computers and you forgot your earbuds or your listening device. You can check those out from the circulation desk, but you also might want to check with the reference desk as we do have some free earbuds to give away to students. We also have magazines and newspapers. These also cannot leave the library, but they are free for you to use and browse while you're here. We also have beanbag chairs and quiet study spaces. The beanbag chairs are located in the treehouse or children's section of the library. And when children are not in the library using this area, it is also considered our quiet study space. We also have several book types uh, for you to consider when borrowing books. The first is circulating. This is the majority of our collection and the majority of it is nonfiction. Um, we also have popular books. These are located near the circulation desk, and these are young adult books, um, memoirs, different types, uh, but they are books that are currently popular or have been popular and we think are of interest and fun for students to read. Some other fun books located next to the popular books are graphic novels. And we also have children's books. We have two sections, all located in the children's area of the library juvenile literature, and young readers. Young readers are for ages zero to roughly eight or nine years old, and juvenile lit is from nine years old to roughly 14 years old. 
Um, and if you need help locating these books, please ask a librarian for help. We also have featured books, and these are on a wall on the way to the reference desk. These change on a monthly basis based on uh, topics, observances, uh, themes, and they are available for you to borrow. Uh, we also have test prep books. These are located behind the reference desk, and if you need help locating them or have questions about them, please feel free to ask a librarian. All of these books can be borrowed for three weeks with one three-week renewal for a total of six weeks. And you can borrow up to 10 items, and that includes any technology that you might need to borrow as well. The two other book types that you see here, reference and reserve, are books that do not leave the library. As I mentioned with reserved textbooks, these are for two hour use only in the library. And reference books are books that you can pull from the shelf and use at your leisure whenever you want and however, you long, however long you want while you're in the library, but they do not go home. And these are books such as uh, encyclopedias, dictionaries, and almanacs. Some online resources that are available to students 24 seven. We have our OneSearch, which is also known as the library catalog, and that allows you to browse everything that the library holds, both physically and digitally. We also have research databases that you can use for research purposes. We also offer asynchronous library workshops. These are available 24 seven and can often earn extra credit for your class depending on your professor. We offer research guides, Canvas module, ebooks, citation guides, video tutorials, and streaming video services. The streaming video services are included in our databases, and these are Swank, Canopy, and Films on Demand. And if you have more questions about them or any of these items, please feel free to ask a librarian at the reference desk. What a librarian can do for you. We offer several services. Primarily, we do information literacy instruction. This is usually scheduled with a faculty member, so your instructor or professor will schedule an orientation to bring their class to the library, and we will teach the class on an information literacy topic or help you with your research for your assignment for the class. Um, but you can also come on your own and ask for help. And there are several things that we can help with. Um, we can help finding books and other resources or sources for your topic, for your research, for your assignment. And we can offer that help through chat. We have a box where you can chat through on our website. But you can also text us a question. Um, you can also email us a question and you can also meet with us through Zoom. Um, we also offer citation assistance. So if you need help creating a works cited page or you're not sure how to do an in-text citation for your essay, we can help with that. Um, we also help you hone your research skills. So if you're having trouble finding um, sources using certain keywords will brainstorm keywords with you and help you narrow down your topic as well. Uh, we also offer in-person workshops as well as the asynchronous online workshops. Um, so look out for email notifications or follow us on social media to find out when we offer those workshops. Usually we try to cover topics that can help you for your research assignments. And Students often don't know that we also offer one-on-one -on -one consultations. So if you're really struggling with a research assignment and feel like you need one-on-one -on -one assistance, you can schedule that with a librarian. You can contact us in any of these methods and we will schedule you with someone who's available at the time that you're available. And lastly, these are some of the items that you can borrow to take home. Um, calculators, Chromebooks, and books. Each of these has a different timeline for borrowing and it depends on availability. So always check, especially with technology, check with the circulation desk. Thank you so much and we hope to see you in the library soon.